I think it is crucial to have patient advocates and patients in that process because patients and patient advocates are actually the experts for a lot of things that concern uh, life of patients with a certain disease and a treatment. They are the experts on quality of life. They know how it is to live with a disease. They can probably assess one against the other because we must be very, very clear uh, that medical efficacy is one of many factors that affect patients' lives. So talking about endpoints, talking about comparators, talking about uh, the importance of certain quality of life parameters is something that patients can quite well understand and probably help assess. And what we see as patient advocates that uh, is that there is a very different perception on the impact of certain side effects or disease symptoms and so on on the life of a patient. So doctors have a very different perspective. Health economists have a very different perspective on the impact and I think value can't be assessed without those that get the treatments. I think it's really important for the patients that the uh, association to which they belong becomes a real strong advocate of their voices and their experience because unfortunately for them they are the experts in living with these illnesses 24 hours a day and therefore the expert patient the living with is really important to get into the process. I think it's important for them to understand what health technology assessment is about. I think it's important to gather evidence to back up your views. You've really got to understand the process and follow it most carefully. I suppose a really good story to explain what the benefit is about is, is this. You know, in Ireland, you know, over a year ago, there was a case where patients weren't involved in the process. They didn't know why there was a stall, why, why it was slow for the product to get to the market. Um, and this product was for patients with serious, uh, you know, life-threatening condition. And so what the patients in that case did is they went to the Irish media, they went to the Minister for Health, um, they created a huge campaign um, where this was discussed uh, on, on talk shows and radio shows. And this is where sick people were forced to go that direction because no one in the agency would talk to them. And it's not that they said no, it's just they didn't do, they had never done that before. Um, and I think that's where the learning came in. The communication is really important. <laughs>